Good morning everyone. I'm Gina Goldstein from Workplace Health and Safety. I'm going to talk to you today about needle stick injuries and how to decrease their incidence. I'm sure you're all aware that out of all healthcare workers, nurses are at the most risk of needle stick injuries. They occur most frequently sometime after using a sharp object like a syringe, or a butterfly cannula or a scalpel blade and before the disposal of the sharp object. Now. I'm sure you're aware of the safety procedures which are already in place. You know, the use of sharps disposal containers for example. Other procedures, like using an instrument to hold a sharp object instead of your hands, and giving a verbal command when passing a sharp object will be familiar to those of you who work in theatres. I'd like to go through the needleless IV access system with you now, as this is one of the main strategies we're using, to reduce needle stick injuries and therefore, reduce the transmission of blood-borne viruses. The needleless system, which you can see on the poster behind me, replaces needles with a blunt, plastic cannula. The blunt, plastic cannula is inserted into a split septum, access, port. It's easy to use because it works in the same way as the old system of inserting a needle into a rubber bung. Because the procedure is the same, it requires little staff training. Other benefits of the system are that it is a non-latex product so patient sensitivity is not a problem. It's also easy to flush the cannula because there are no internal, moving parts, therefore fewer occlusions, for example blood clots, 